Why'd you decide to attend UD? It's a great program. Uh, good academics, good academic graduation rate, uh, great coaches. It's close to home, uh, so I can improve my game. On. Uh, it was the best situation for me. You know, I, I love it here. And, you know, it's home for me and for my family to come and see me play. You know, every home game and even some away games was based on location. And it was the best situation for me. And I love the fans and I love the community. Well, you know, coaching staff is unbelievable, unbelievable, you know, and the players here are fun to play with, and just looking forward to playing. Uh, definitely, definitely for the basketball reason, also uh, great academics, I mean, the, the coaching staff was great, the guys that the guys that were here already got along with, uh, I love the way they played, it's just, it's just a family atmosphere here at Dayton. Good all around program, I wanted to come to this place, you know, have a help upbringing the program, uh, do as much as I can for it. Um, academics and the basketball program are both amazing. When I came on my visit, everybody was so close and supportive, and I wanted to be a part of it. Uh, I chose UD because of the academics, the great family atmosphere, and just the students on campus. Um, well, I decided to attend UD because uh, I felt that it was the best fit for me and my family. Um, the academics were great, the coaching staff was great, and the players that play here were great players to play with. I chose UD because my sister went here and she had a great experience and the education opportunities for me. Uh, they were just perfect. Um, I think the main thing was the, was the coaches, you know, BG and uh, Coach Schmidt, JB and Corn. There's always a family atmosphere. They was always um, honest from the start. You know, they were one of the first schools to start recruiting me. That really, really set a tone in me. That, you know, that they were always, always going to be there. Then I think also the uh, the family atmosphere. You know, the whole band of brothers thing was a big thing. Um, just the team. The whole atmosphere. Uh, it was just uh, when I first came here, the coaching staff, uh, my teammates, they, they were just great to me. Uh, it was just an amazing experience when I got on this campus. I felt like I was welcome, and uh, my teammates and my coaches welcomed me in, and I just felt like this is part of the place that I need to be. Um, well, originally I was interested in basketball, but then I came on a campus visit, and it just kind of blew me away. Just the whole atmosphere of it, student body, and then obviously basketball too. So. Favorite street in the ghetto? Oh, we be jumping on Keith Neighbor and Longview, right at the corner. That's our spot. You catch us there every weekend in the off season, not during the season. Uh, Lowe's. <laughs> uh, Keith Neighbor. Keith Neighbor. I'm gonna have to go with Keith Neighbor. Lowe's. I'm not really familiar with the names, but uh, I'm from Longview. I'd have to say Ferg's. Ferg's? Key favor, because that's where I'm at. 423. Key favor. And if not basketball, what sport would you play? Probably football. Football. Play. Football. Probably baseball. Um, I think I'll play golf. <laughs> I mean, I always wanted to play. I just wanted to learn how to, how to, uh, how to play. I see Tiger Woods always play, so I just wanted to try it out. Soccer. Probably gonna be a sport. I'd probably be singing or acting. <laughs> Volleyball for sure. Definitely. I, it was something I, I played in high school freshman year. Definitely soccer. Football. Do you play anybody one on one all time? Who'd it be? Michael Jordan. Isaiah Thomas. Uh, gotta be Jordan. Michael Jordan. I think he's the greatest all time, so I'd like to play him. Tracy McGrady. <laughs> Michael Jordan, definitely Michael Jordan. MJ, for sure. Michael, yeah, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's uh, my guy being from Chicago. Isaiah Thomas. Oh, it's got to be Shaq. It's got to be Shaq. I would probably uh, try to take him on the perimeter. <laughs> I'd probably play Shaq since I'm, he's been my favorite uh, player since I was young. So. And then uh, if you were at Tim's, what would you throw back dance for me? Probably the seawall. I mean, I told him I could crank it a little bit, but, and then I go a little bit, but they always complain, they always mess with me because they say I can't do it, but I'm going to get there. Okay, how about the, sh how about the shopping cart? <laughs> Alright, uh, now this is for this. Okay. I would say the cabbage patch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really dance like that, man. I just watch my other team like that. I'll try the one more.
throwback dance move. Oh no. Probably some Michael Jackson stuff. <laughs> oh gosh. Man, dance is not my thing. Dance is not my thing. And then he's team clown. Probably we got no team clown, but probably the funniest is probably Brandon. Brandon Spirit. I have to say C right and CJ. Let's say uh, Brandon Spirit, freshman. Brandon Spirit and, and, uh, and CJ right there dancing. <laughs> Chris Johnson are definitely fun. Uh, I don't think we have a uh, team clown. There's just a bunch of clowns on the team, and it depends on the day. Team clown. <laughs> Me. I don't know. We're all pretty funny. I don't know. I don't know. That's a hard one to call. We got a couple. Um, depends on who you're talking to, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to say Cav. Definitely Cav would be one. Um, Brandon's a little goofy in his own in his own way, so we're all pretty much clowns around each other. Gotta be Chris Wright. Favorite food overall? I'm about to say chicken. A lot of people hate, uh, knock me for this, but I say grilled cheese. I say pizza. I love pizza. Pizza. That's a tough one. Uh, I just have to say like meatloaf and mashed potatoes. Anything but pork. What would be a perfect date for you? Dinner at um, Dinner at Fleming's. <laughs> and then a, a movie after. Our perfect date would probably be with uh, Stacy Dash. I know she's a little bit older than me, but it's a beautiful woman. <laughs> probably dinner and a movie and hang out with the girl after. Oh, Beyonce. <laughs> if I get Beyonce on a date, that's, I, I don't care where I take her. If I can just get her by my side, they're going to be a perfect date. Me and Kim Kardashian, wherever we go, it don't matter. We can go anywhere. It's a perfect date. Oh, my perfect date, man. I'm just more of an old fashioned style guy. You know, a nice dinner, maybe a nice walk in the dark, you know, something like that. I don't know. I, I haven't been on a date a long time. Uh, I'll probably something to eat, cheesecake factory, then whatever else happens. Kim Kardashian. I love it. What would you what would you do? What would you want to do on the date? Go ahead, go everywhere. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be dreaming about it. Somewhere. Perfect date. Uh, just something relaxing. Maybe just go to dinner. 